Hi there, I hope you're well. So I couldn't remember which I was supposed to do first, the walking or the sound, but first I did it with the walking. And this was a challenge for me because uh, A, I was feeling a bit self-conscious doing it because there's a few people walking around here. And also, as I first came here, there was this... Uh, young woman was walking alone and she was in a place where I was going to go to and I thought, oh, I best not go there. And as I looked at her to know she was there, she looked at me and I was like, oh, it's going a completely different direction now. So uh, that was like a bit awkward. But, uh, so anyway, but when I finally started with the, like the mindful walking, I could feel the sensations of mud underneath my uh, feet. And I was also just more aware of the contours of my feet. So not like flat-footed. I could feel like the the incline or whatever the word is, like in the foot, and the and the connection of different parts of that to the ground. So first, I was going on mud. I could feel the mud, like the the mixture between uh, smoothness, uh, kind of liquidness, if that's a word, and the firmness. And then I went on grass, and I could feel, yeah, there was something, this felt more living, if that makes sense. And I walked on a, a bit of a sharp edge of a stick at some stage, which I wouldn't have been necessarily really aware of normally, because normally, as I say, I walk quite quickly, and I'm just focused where I'm going to, so because I was just more aware of that. So that was cool. Uh, that's something definitely to work on. The... Mindful listening, this was something which I found really cool, really calming. And as a bird watcher, it's something which wasn't completely new for me, but it's definitely something I can incorporate into bird watching. Uh, yeah, it was just cool to be just be kind of tossed here and there according to where the sounds were coming from and giving up the control about where I'm going to go on my path. I mean, obviously, I'm kind of keeping to a path and walking on here, but I kind of went a bit off. Up there, and ooh, if you can see there properly, so I was hearing different uh, things uh, like a chaffinch and crows. Look, uh, there was like a mild murder of crows, I suddenly it was going, Rah! and uh, other birds I could hear. And, but then a sound I really like was that the wind picked up a bit. And in one of the oak trees here, I could hear the sound of the wind going through there, which is actually one of my favourite sounds. And it was interesting, because normally I would think, it's in the, when there's a load of leaves, this is when the sound is more pronounced. But maybe it was just more of a calmer kind of sound, because it wasn't wind. Because sometimes when you're hearing wind going through the trees a lot in the summer, it can be a bit tiring after a while. But here, it just, because of the lack of leaves, it felt like a calmer kind of sound. It also depends on the tree. So yeah, so to, from this I'm just feeling like more peaceful. I'm feeling like these ears of mine are kind of just connecting to the world around. In the, in the second activity, the first one, uh, the feet. So yeah, so if you haven't done these two things yet, I very much recommend them. I wish you all. But to finish with, there's some sound. Or maybe you're just maybe you're just hearing in the microphone. <laughs> if not, maybe this is part of the experience. Right, bye.